Hey everybody, it's Mitch, and welcome to my next video. Today, we have another Naruto character review for you, and today, we're going to be talking about uh, Shikaku the Sand Spirit. Um, yes, the one tail, um, the tailed beast inside of Gara of the Desert. Um, now, this is an interesting one, um, but first I just want to say, uh, spoilers, so make sure you're caught up before you watch this. Um, so yeah, uh, let's get started. So, Shikaku is interesting largely in that we don't see very much of him himself um surprisingly like there's all this talk of gara and how he's possessed by uh shikaku uh, but at the same time you don't see shikaku come out very much at all like you see hints of it throughout the show where um he comes out and he you know just uh just uh kills a few people like um um, that one sound shinobi that came after Gara. Um, but you just kind of see hints of that. Um, and, you know, there, there's just sort of little hints of it throughout the show. The one time you actually see him is uh, in Naruto's fight against Gara when Gara uses his uh, playing possum jutsu and falls asleep. Uh, at which point Shikaku comes out and Naruto uh, and Gamabunta end up having to fight against him. Um, this actually only lasts for like maybe half an, uh, half an episode though. You see how strong he is and you can see that he's picking up strength. Um, and that the, uh, their only option is to wake, uh, Gara up in order to, and, uh, make Shikaku, uh, go back to sleep. Um, which is what they end up doing. But, uh, you see, uh, him during that little bit of time, he seems, um, crazy on the crazy side. He likes fighting. Um, uh, he's, he's an interesting one. Uh, it's hard to really, uh, say much about him, really. Uh, he's got kind of a wild side. Um, uh, he seems to not like the fact that he's kept forced to stay asleep so much. Um, so he's very excited when he comes out and when he gets forced back to go to sleep, he's not happy about that. Um, so yeah. Uh, Shikaku's certainly an interesting one. Um, later in the show, you don't see him directly, but you do see, uh, um, when talking with, uh, the eight tails, I think Genki is his name, if I recall. Um, he very much, uh, mentions that, uh, uh, Shikaku does not like, uh, Kurama, the nine tails, uh, mostly because Kurama believes that the more tails you have, the stronger you are. And Shikaku, being the one tail, is not thrilled about that. He's like, hey, I'm not the weakest. Um, uh, so, yeah, he, he's, he ain't too happy about that one. Um, uh, so, yeah. Um, uh, and it's hard to say if he is the weakest or not. Uh, Kuruma is definitely the, not, uh, the strongest, though. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but um, you, you see he's got all these uh, sand powers, which is kind of cool. That's kind of similar to the powers Gara has. Um, although Gara uh, ends up rejecting Shikaku after that fight. Um, and you, you don't really see him show up anymore. I mean, he's the reason why Gara ends up getting targeted and killed um, in Shippuden uh, at the start. But um, he's, you don't actually see Shikaku come out, really. It's all Gara. Um, so very, very interesting. Um, he is, of course, one of the nine-tailed beasts, um, but he's the only one you don't see um, when Naruto, uh, you know, interacts with all the tailed beasts. Well, I mean, I guess you don't see Genki either, but, like, he's, he's right there. Like, he's he's kind of fighting. Uh, he, he's with B, who's, like, you know, you know, just a few feet away. So, you know, not exactly. Uh, so there's a reason why he's, uh, you know, not showing up in that world. That's because... You know, he, he's, he's with B, and he's close by, so he's an ally anyway. Um, so, yeah. Um, but uh, anyways, uh, yeah, uh, Shikaku is... He's weirdly one you don't see that much of. Um, really surprising, considering how big a deal like, Gara is to the show and, like, how, like, central um, his power is to Gara's character. But at the same time... It's weird that you just don't see him. Um, yeah, really, really surprising, uh, in all honesty. 
Um, but yeah, that's that's Shikaku. Uh, there's not much to say about him. Um, there's some inconsistencies in the show with uh, in regards to him. Uh, when Gara first talks to about him, he refers to him as uh, the spirit of a monk, um, which of course that ended up getting retconned later, um, saying that uh, to the tr- his actual origin of uh, being one of the nine tailed beasts um, that uh, was split from the ten tails um, by the Sage of the Six Paths. But, um, I mean, it's possible that, you know, Gara just got the story wrong. I mean, Gara's uh, not exactly the sanest of people. Um, and a lot of that has to do with Shikaku being inside of him. Uh, like, a lot of it. Gara had a pretty rough go of it because of Shikaku. Um, so. Yeah, uh, that's, I guess, all I have to say about Shikaku. There's not much to say. Like, he gets, like, half an episode of screen time, and even then, it focuses more on Naruto and Gamabunta than it does on him. So, yeah. Um, that's all I got to say. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. Maybe subscribe to the channel for more uh, videos. I do uh, these Naruto character reviews um, fairly regularly, but I mostly do Dungeons & Dragons 3.5. I know a little bit different, but if you enjoy d and 3.5, definitely subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so you never miss out on a video. Anyways, as always, I'm Mitch, and I'll be seeing you.